Raise your hand if you have an account on one or more of the following social media apps. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Tumblr. More than 90% of teenagers use social media, and 71% of you use more than one of these apps. It's easy to see why social media is popular. But what are the effects, or even risks, of using social media on the teenage brain? A study done at UCLA scanned teens' brains while using social media. They found that the same brain networks that are activated by eating chocolate and winning money are activated when they receive likes on their photos on social media. In particular, an area of the brain called the nucleus accumbens is particularly sensitive to the gratification teens feel on social media when a photo or post has a large number of likes. How does this information apply to you? Reward circuitry in the nucleus accumbens is particularly sensitive in adolescence. This means social media may become addictive since it's very easy to post pictures or statuses and wait for friends to like or respond to your post. Teens may even start spending so much time on social media that they neglect more important tasks, such as their schoolwork, activities, and even sleep. The teenage brain is also very susceptible to peer pressure. Social media activities like sexting, posting pictures depicting drug or alcohol use, or online bullying can have devastating effects on the teenage brain. Teens may feel pressure to do something because they see evidence of their friends doing them online. It's important to remember how social media can indirectly encourage these bad habits. How can you use social media responsibly? Some strategies are to first zip it. Don't share too much of your life online. Secondly, block it if there is someone negative online that is trying to talk to you. And third, flag it if you see negative picture or dangerous posts online and tell a trusted adult. Overall, social media can be a powerful and beneficial tool to connect with friends and family. You can join people with similar interests or use social media to schedule meetings and learn about world news. However, it's important to be aware of the addictive nature of social media. There are also dangers to keep in mind, such as sharing too much personal information or trusting a stranger you met online. Make sure you use social media responsibly, and it can be a fun resource to use.